Dr. Doolittle and the animals just got to the monkeys, but I'll start reading here. The two of them rushed on in front to tell the sick monkeys that the great doctor had come at last, but the king's men, who were still following, had heard the noise of the monkeys cheering. They at last knew where the doctor was and ran on to catch him. The big monkey carrying Gub-Gub was coming along behind slowly, and he saw the captain of the army sneaking through the trees. So he hurried after the doctor and told him to run. Then they all ran harder and than they ever had in their run in their lives, and the king's men began to run too. The captain ran hardest of all. Chi-Chi shouted, We haven't far to go now. But before they could get into the land of the monkeys, they came to a steep cliff with a river flowing below. This was the end of the kingdom of Jolaginki. The land of the monkeys was on the other side, across the river. And Jip the dog looked down over the edge of the steep, steep cliff and said, Golly, how are we ever going to get across? Oh dear, said Gub Gub. The king's men are quite close now. Look at them. I am afraid we are going to be taken back to prison again. And he began to weep. The, but the big monkey who was carrying the pig dropped him on the ground and cried out to the other monkeys, Boys, a bridge, quick, make a bridge. We've only a minute to do it. A bridge, a bridge. The doctor began to wonder what they were going to make a bridge out of. He gazed around to see if they had any boards hidden any place. But when he looked back at the cliff, there, hanging across the river, was a bridge all ready for him, made of live monkeys. And there's the picture. For a while, his back was turned. For a while his back was turned, the monkeys, quick as a flash, had made themselves into a bridge just by holding hands and feet. And the big one shouted to the doctor, Walk over, walk over, all of you hurry. Gub Gub was a bit scared to walk on such a narrow bridge at a dizzy height above the river, but he got all he got over all right, and so did all of them. John Doolittle was the last to cross. And just as he was getting to the other side, the king's men came rushing up to the edge of the cliff. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Then they shook their fists and yelled with rage, for they saw they were too late. The doctor and all his animals were safe in the land of the monkeys, and the bridge was pulled across to the other side. Then Chi Chi turned to the doctor and said, Many great explorers have hidden in the jungle for weeks, hoping to see the monkeys do that trick, but we never let an Englishman see it before. You are the first to see the famous bridge of apes, and the doctor felt very pleased. So they made it to help the monkeys. They're going to give them the medicine now. We'll see what else happens in our book when we come back. <laughs>